How to use the Coinbase app tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how to get started with the Coinbase application. So first off, we're just going to download this onto your phone so you can download it on your iOS or Android device. And then you can go ahead and click on get started if you don't have a Coinbase account already. But if you do already have a account, you're going to click on sign in on the top right over here. And then you're just going to log into your account. So you're just going to enter your email address. Now, once you have logged on to your account, this will be your basic dashboard. So over here, you can see you have your account set up, you have your exploration tab, then you also have options to choose to buy, sell, send, convert, or receive cryptocurrency. Then you have a watch list and you can add any coin that you want to your watch list. Let's say I want to monitor the ups and downs or monitor the price of TRB. Then I'm just going to click on the TRB coin over here and then I can click on the star over here and click on turn on price alerts i can click on allow over here and now this will be added to my watch list and now i will be notified for any major price changes for this specific coin now uh, to actually get started you can click on your top left over here and you have things such as learning rewards and earning yield so you can go on ahead and click on yield earn and you can click on see what you can earn over here and now you can earn crypto by simply having crypto in your account so you can go on ahead and get these crypto tokens and you have ethereum 2 cosmos and tezos and the average yield is going to be 3.25 for ethereum 2 it's going to be five percent for cosmos and then you can just click on that token over here and go ahead and purchase that token to be able to earn more money with keeping crypto in your account now you can see over here you can click on the get coinbase wallet over here and click on download wallet over here and now you can go on ahead into this will lead you to your app store and then you can download the coinbase wallet as well so if you are not using any other crypto wallet if you are already using this wallet you can go on ahead and download the coinbase wallet as well but if you don't need it then you can just skip on ahead and you can go back into your account now to actually see your account settings or account details you can click on profile and settings over here and you can see all of your profile details over here as well now how do you actually go on ahead like the most popular reason that people have these crypto marketplaces is to be able to view their assets and trade them well all you have to do is click on your bottom on the bottom left you have the assets panel so you can click on assets over here and then you can go on ahead and explore your assets and see whatever you have or you can also click on add new and select any kind of token that you might want to buy and once you select that token you can go on ahead and add your identity verification and then choose to buy that token now with crypto and with crypto exchanges you might feel like it must be so difficult to buy tokens but it's very simple on coinbase you can pay with a few simple steps you can also choose to convert your currencies and you can choose to simply pay via a bank transfer or a swift transfer whatever you want to simply have crypto in your crypto wallet now another major function that most people are going to to be looking for is trading so you can see on your home dashboard you have buy sell send convert and receive but on your bottom right you're going to see the trade function over here and this will just show you all of the multiple different tokens you can search for any token that you want let's search for dot so you can search for any kind of token that you want to trade and now this is showing me polka dot the token that i'm taking a look at and now you can just take a look at the token price it's giving you the entire chart you can scroll down to get more information the specific market stats as well and then you can click on trade over here you can choose whether you want to buy the dot token or whether you want to convert dot to another crypto let's say you want to buy and then you can just go on ahead and purchase the token as well and you can also go on ahead and if you go back to your home page over here so if you go back onto your home page you can also choose to click on buy over over here and choose any asset to buy as well as sell so whatever kind of tokens that you have present in your wallet can be sold from over here as well as sending your tokens and converting your tokens let's say i bought btc but now i want to convert it into ethereum then i would just go into the convert section and then you can go on to the receive section as well so if you 
have any crypto payments that are due, you can easily receive them via this simple method. And that is why it is so useful to keep these crypto marketplaces as mobile applications on your phone. So you can see over here, you have this QR code and your BTC address where people can simply send you crypto tokens or crypto, any of the money that they owe you or any payment that you want to receive via this BTC address. So that is how simple and easy it is to use the crypto wallet on or the crypto platform on Coinbase. You can also click on your top right over here to receive notifications as well as receive free rewards on the Coinbase platform. So you can go ahead and copy this link and share this with other people to earn more gifts as well on their platform. And you can earn some rewards and then get started with trading as well on the Coinbase platform. So now moving further, you do need to finish your account setup whenever you are verifying your account. So once you create your account, you also need to add a payment method and do identity verification. Now you might be wondering, hey, why do I have to do identity verification? Why can't I just, you know, enter my email and go on ahead? Well, the reason that you actually have to do identity verification and add payment methods is because uh, it's not going to be a verified account and you're not going to be able to actually trade or purchase any crypto without doing identity verification and the reason that they asked for an identity verification is because they want to make sure that there are no spammers or no people that are just you know messing around on their platform that is why identity verification is important so you're going to have to either use your driver's license national id card passport or any other form of id to get started with their platform to actually be able to trade and you know you can browse the markets but if you actually want to trade on these markets then you would need to make sure that your identity is verified so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these and techniques that I showed in this video and if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and if you enjoyed this video I would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video regarding any other video or regarding any social platform then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and i will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our youtube channel i want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and i will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video